Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, The Chosen Few. And it is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. But Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go, therefore, to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Right here in the Gospel of Matthew, we have a description of the Lord's church on earth. Its foundation lies in a commandment from God. And for thousands of years, he has sent out his servants armed with the word of God and the gift of baptism. They were to invite people to the great king's marriage. And that's exactly what they did to everyone that they ran into. And the wedding reception room was full of people. Now, in this parable, the wedding reception room is not the heavenly one, where there where were guests at the table in God's kingdom. But instead, it refers to the courtyard here on earth, the visible church today. It's just like Jesus says. Many are called, both good and bad. God wants all people to be saved. This Sunday, we are able to be a guest at the table and taste the heavenly gifts in the word, in the forgiveness of sins, and in communion. However, despite the fact that many are called, only a few are chosen. Now that doesn't mean that God from the very beginning decided that there would be those who would be lost. No, of course not. God is serious with his call. However, he knows what's going to happen. He knows that what he does, in many cases, is in vain. He acts like a kind father on earth, even if common sense says it's hopeless with a stubborn child. The kind father can't help doing everything for that child. So God does everything even for those who trample upon his love. But God also knows when his love will reach out and win a person over. Then he leads and protects that person so nothing can tear him away from his love. That person is the one who's called chosen. We hear Jesus say that there are few who are chosen in verse number 14. 
So immediately we want to ask, Lord, are there only a few who will be saved? That we know his answer. It's recorded in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, where Jesus said, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. But the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Now, what about the man who didn't have a wedding garment? This is a parable, uh, not an allegory. And in other words, we can't decipher all of the details. So we don't have to bother with the question of whether it was reasonable to punish a poor man for his clothes. But here it's a question of a garment that he got for free, a wedding garment. It's a question of being clothed in the new life, the garment that comes from faith in Jesus. Those old, soiled, everyday clothes refers to our sinfulness. You can't get into God's eternal kingdom wearing those. But through baptism, you can be clothed in Christ and his righteousness when you ask to be forgiven. The trouble is many who are baptized forget what the clothes represent. And as such, once they do this, they, in a sense, remove their garment, thus exposing their unforgiven sin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, many have been called, but few are chosen. By the power of your Holy Spirit, bless the chosen ones with the gift of faith in your Son, Jesus, so we may continue to wear our baptismal garments, receive your forgiveness, and enjoy an eternity with you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.